this is Jeremiah from Gibson Scope Global. We're here in Byron Bay, Australia. Behind me is the lighthouse. And as we came to this place and we visited the lighthouse, God revealed that in this place there's even a spiritual lighthouse. God is drawing together His people and setting them up on a hill to shine their light brightly in the midst of a very deep darkness. In this area, there's a lot of cult activity and new age spiritualism, but we know that God has set his people up to speak forth his light, his life, and his truth into this culture and into this place, and it's the change is here and it's coming more and more each day. And this is how we're praying for Byron Bay, and we would like to invite you to pray as well. My lighthouse shining in the darkness, I will follow you. Oh, my lighthouse, my lighthouse, I will trust the promise. You will carry me safe to shore. to do awesome things here in Byron Bay, Australia, and got to see God move in so many incredible ways. And we partnered with the YWAM base that is stationed in Byron Bay and just joined them in the ministries that they're doing, the outreaches and stuff like that to the community. And one of the best things that we got to do is partner with them in a free barbecue that they offer to the communities on Friday nights where they just hand out food and just love all the people. And during that time, we got to even just minister to some new age hippies that were so joyful and receiving the truth of who God is, who His love is, and the awesome things that He's done in our lives and how He can move in their lives. It was just so awesome to get to just see Him move in that way. And also, we got to really just minister to and just encourage the staff here at the base. And it's just been so cool because in praying for the people, four of them got healed. And just praying for them, each of them had serious back problems and pain that just is lifelong even, along with so many other issues. And, and God had just really touched their bodies and each one of them had their right leg shorter than the other. And in praying for them, they seriously just grew out to be even. And when they stood up, there was like no more back pain. It was just awesome to see God move and bring healing in that way and just really encourage them in the place that they're at and just see Him move in that way. Hey guys, just to introduce myself, um, my name is Kevin, I've been here in Australia for 16 years and my wife and myself, we have the privilege of directing uh, YWAM Byron Bay, it's incredibly fun. And when we came to Byron Bay, we looked up the meanings of the name, Byron actually meant to forgive and Bay meant forgiven and uh, which blew us away and of course that's the heartbeat of God. Byron Bay itself, it's the most easterly point of the Australian mainland um, and it's actually really beautiful and absolutely picturesque. Because of that, um, it's a real draw card. Tons of people come here. When we came, we knew God right away was just calling us just to focus on these travelers, to be able to share His goodness, His faithfulness. So you don't, when you have a traveler, um, they're outside a lot of their normal paradigms. They're not going to the normal workplace. They're not going to the normal schooling. They're not in their friendship, relationship circles. And therefore, when they travel, they're really open. They want to explore. They want to have fun. They want to experience new things. And um, our heartbeat is like, Lord, let us realize this. And Father, um, would you use us to come and connect with them in a pertinent way, in a powerful way, in a real way, that they would actually think about having an encounter with God and come to know who He is. If you guys could remember us, um, pray for more workers, pray for more staff, pray for more students that would come, that would have a heart, actually, a real heartbeat for um, the young adults of the Western world. 
Um, we know, you know, they're being educated in ways that are not um, God's ways, and and um, often, and 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 we actually want to come and connect with them, talk with them, maybe challenge their paradigms, and pray with them. They would actually come and have a you know living encounter with the living God.